wanted to surprise the children, so I told them that Jojo was taking them on an adventure. Any guesses? Yes! We're going to learn to run. The children have got lots of energy, but they use it to be aggressive with one another. So I thought it would be good for them to get them involved in martial arts so that they could use their energy in a positive way. I decided that I would suit up as well to get the kids motivated. We're going to learn about Taekwondo today, which is a Korean martial art, and we teach a lot about respect, and we'll talk more about that later. Very good. Ready? Taekwondo! Whilst the class was carrying on, Will lost concentration, and he wanted to come over to Mum and hug her and stay with her. Come here, buddy. I'm going to teach you how to kick and punch, okay? It's frustrating and a little bit heartbreaking, you know, to see him wanting me and me having to tell him, no, you need to go back to your spot. Will tried to escape and come over to Mum again, but this time she wasn't giving in. Go have fun. Go. go and have fun. Come on, Will. We're going to pop out and we'll be back in a minute when the class ends. If you have children that don't concentrate as much, teachers will always recommend that parents leave the room because it allows the child to focus on the sport. What part of the fist do you break with? Whoa, everybody give a big hand! You want to try that or you want your sister to go first? Okay, come on up, Isabella. I get to punch and no other students to break the wood. Without mum there, Will wasn't distracted. Give it a great big whack, three, Aya, please! Whoa. It was exciting to see my kids participating in the Taekwondo class. I could see that they were enjoying it. And then I got a surprise. The master called me over for a turn. Come on up, Nanny Jo! Nanny Jo, break a wood! Aya! Aya! <laughs> oh, you must give her a big hand! The kids had a lot of fun and now they have a way to channel their energy into something positive. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. And we'll see We're you very soon. excited. Thank you. Thank you, Jojo, for taking a thing Taekwondo! So who's got green fingers? I've got green fingers. Have you got, you've got green fingers? The children can get bored very easily and that leads to them fighting and squabbling with one another. What we're going to do now is to build and plant your own garden. This project's just a fun and easy way for mum to get involved with her children. Okay, am I gonna have to get my hands You're in dirt? Ready. Yeah. Okay, oh. this is good. So mum, look, there's their gloves. They've got their own watering can and spade there. Do you wanna give one each okay. to them? Ethan, no. you would like the green one? Isabella, which one would you like? I like this one. So what I'd like you to do is to delegate them each a job. So that's the second step. Okay. Technique. First of all, you know what we have to do? What? We have to put some soil in here. Let's bring this right over here. Okay, I'm gonna come over here, Mum. And the third is to make sure that you supervise what's happening, but allow yourself every now and then to step back to watch them. Not. You have to get the whole bag done. This is hard work. They got a kick out of it. Lisa, you need some for these rocks. I wanted to show Lisa that this activity would be a great way to show how they could all work together as a team. Oh, good job, Isabella. I did the dirt to put in the bucket, and I take the flowers out, and I plant flowers. I put a root in, and it grows. We're all finished! The community garden, they really enjoyed. I thought it was a great idea. They really worked well together, so that was really kind of neat to see. Hey, well done, guys. Good job.